I made an AI. Sorry, I meant I made an army of AI to find the ultimate strategy for winning rock, paper, scissors. And I'm so confident that I'll bet a thousand dollars that my friend can't beat the AI at the end of the video. Now you're probably thinking rock, paper, scissors is just luck. Well, you're kind of wrong. And I'll prove it to you with an experiment. Try picking heads or tails three times randomly. I'll give you a second to finalize your choice and... Did you pick all heads? What about all tails? No? Neither did I. Same with the hundreds of participants in this experiment. In our mind, we think three heads or three tails in a row doesn't seem random enough. Even though mathematically speaking, 25% of people watching this video should have picked three heads or tails in a row. Clearly, humans are terrible at being random. So, I'm making an AI that will take advantage of the flaws in the human brain to completely dominate and utterly destroy the human race. In rock, paper, scissors, of course. But first, we need to make rock, paper, scissors in 3D. So, I open Unity, make a shiny cube, write some code to automatically generate them, and boom, my PC just blows up. So, I add some water cooling, then I go back to the game and realize it looks like shit. A uh, work in progress. So, I Google how to make sky, indefinitely borrow the asset from this guy, add some lighting, and now all that's left to do is to make the actual game. Oh and the AI. Alright, I spent the last four hours making a character. It looks good, right? Yeah, something tells me we can't use this. I guess I have to go back to the drawing board. Or should I say, aha aha, the installing board. Like it's too easy. Wait, there's an issue here. The character doesn't have hands. Alright, so I'm making hands in Blender now. Alright, paper's done, looks amazing. Rock and scissors, also done. Now, I just automatically generate each scene using code. And boom, we just made rock, paper, scissors in 3D. Now let's make the AI, because I literally can't afford to lose this thousand dollar bet. Alright, it's been two months, but I finally finished the AI. So, let me explain how it works. Researchers call this AI a multi-armed bandit agent, which is a name that is way too cool for what it is. So, imagine four one-armed bandits. No, not that bandit. A one-armed bandit is actually just an old name for a slot machine, because you know, slot machines have one arm and steal all your money. Anyways, Imagine four slot machines, each with different odds of hitting a million dollar jackpot. So this one has a 70% chance of hitting a jackpot. This is 20%, 45%, and this has a 2% chance of hitting a jackpot. The twist is, you don't know the jackpot odds of any of these machines, and you only have 100 tokens to spend. So how do you spend your tokens to make the most money? You could just evenly split all your tokens between each machine, but if you can somehow figure out this machine gives you the million dollar jackpot 70% of the time, why would you waste your tokens on machines with worse odds? So, your strategy should be to 1. Try every machine to find the one with the best odds and 2. Spend the rest of your tokens on that machine. But finding the slot machine with the best jackpot odds is not easy. Imagine, I spent 2 tokens on this machine that gives out the jackpot 2% of the time. There's a tiny, tiny chance, even though jackpot odds are only 2%, that I could get two jackpots back to back on my first two tries. Now if I decide, oh, this is the best machine because I got two jackpots here, and I spend the rest of my life savings, I would lose all my money. So how many tokens should I spend exploring each machine versus exploiting the machine that I think has the best jackpot chances? This is the exploration exploitation dilemma, which is a problem a ton of companies and researchers try to solve. Literally right now, YouTube is exploring what type of videos you like to watch. And once it figures out you click a lot on, let's say, gorilla videos, YouTube begins exploiting that information and starts showing you more gorilla videos in your recommendations. Thankfully, some math goons have already solved this dilemma for me. All you need to do is slap in some, you know, exponential decay, some Thompson sampling, the easy stuff, and boom, our AI is done. Now you might be thinking, Kush, the AI sucks. If the AI explores different options of rock, paper, scissors, and thinks rock is the most likely to work, and starts spamming rock, you can just counter it by spamming paper and win. But what did I tell you at the very beginning of this video? I made an army of AI to find the ultimate strategy for winning rock, paper, scissors. The multi-armed bandit algorithm doesn't pick whether to play rock, paper, or scissors. It picks between one of the 103 AI agents I created and swaps between each one depending on how effective they are. Now you might be thinking, what if I just choose rock, paper, scissors randomly? But what did I tell you at the very beginning of this video? 
humans are terrible at being random. You always subconsciously follow some logical pattern that the AI can exploit in rock, paper, scissors. So in our army, we have the reactive bots. The first one plays what would beat the opponent's last move. The second plays what the opponent played last. And the third plays what would lose to the opponent's last move. Then we have the advanced bots, like a neural network that spots trends in your moves and predicts what's coming next. Or a bot that uses the digits of pi to choose a random move. We also have a naive Bayes bot, a random bot, an XG boost bot, and over 97 different AI agents. So you might be wondering how I made over 100 rock, paper, scissors bots all by myself. The funny thing is, I didn't. This sounds crazy, but I literally found a bunch of forums where people make rock, paper, scissors bots, and so I indefinitely borrowed the code for each bot and added them to my army of AI. And using the multi-arm bandit algorithm, the AI is able to effectively choose which strategy to use and when to use it to exploit your personal biases. So let's test the AI. I'm gonna start off by choosing rock, paper, scissors again and again in a pattern because the multi-arm bandit algorithm is designed to beat me fairly quickly on a simple pattern like this. And oh, wait, why am I winning? Okay, so maybe there's a problem here. The AI isn't even picking up such a simple pattern. All right, it's been three weeks. I was literally gonna scrap this video, but after going through my code, it turns out there was a small bug that absolutely ruined the performance of the AI. But check it out now. If I choose moves in a pattern, like I'm just doing scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper, rock again and again, the AI quickly figures out my pattern and exploits it. So if I check what bot it's using right now, it says it's using bot 16, which is the exact counter to the scissors, paper, rock pattern. Now, if I switch it up and start spamming a bunch of rock, the multi-arm bandit algorithm quickly switches which bot it's using to bot 86, which literally just plays the counter to the move I play most often, and picks randomly like 35% of the time to throw me off. Obviously, the algorithm beats me if I'm doing simple patterns. But what if I try choosing rock, paper, scissors randomly? To test this, I'm literally choosing moves as random as I possibly can. But as you can see, out of over 200 games, the AI has won 111. So the AI is clearly able to find patterns in my moves, even though I'm trying to be random. So after spending over 100 hours working on this AI, creating over 100 rock, paper, scissors bots, and testing the AI thousands of times, it's finally time to test the AI against Chad with $1,000 on the line. All right, Chad, the rules are simple. Out of exactly 100 games of rock, paper, scissors, you just have to get more wins than the AI. Total or uh, what? Yeah, like, like if you get 51 and the AI gets 49, you win. Okay. And to play a move, just like say it out loud and I'll put it in on my side. All right, paper, rock, paper, paper, scissors. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. A few minutes later. Scissors, scissors, paper, rock, paper, on, paper, paper, scissors. Holy sh I didn't know. Right, rock, 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 scissors, paper, scissors, paper, 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 rock, 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 rock. 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 What the f- Uh, rock? Oh, scissors. Paper. Rock. Wait, what? Uh, uh, scissors. Rock. Nah. <laughs> That's tough, bro. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, sure, the AI beat you, it beat Chad, but that could just be luck. Well, I literally coded a mini version of the AI just to prove to you that it's not luck. You can play against it on my site, kushg.com random. The link's in the description. Subscribe.